in a world filled with noise, imagine finding tranquility in the gentle flicker of a candle. Welcome to a journey through time, where the wisdom of the Stoics reveals secrets to a life well lived. Marcus Aurelius is one of the most famous and well-known Stoic philosophers of all time. He was a Roman emperor from 161 to 180 after Christ, and he was the last ruler from a line later known as the Five Good Emperors. He was in one of the highest positions of power in the world at the time. During his rule, Aurelius found the time to construct a series of autobiographical writings, now known as the Meditations, which has become one of the most important texts within Stoic philosophy. In this video, you'll discover the five most popular Marcus Aurelius quotes. Number 1. Don't talk about your good deeds. Imagine a candle silently lighting up a dark room, its gentle light warming and illuminating everything around it. Kindness, for the Stoics, is much like this flame. They believed in genuine and subtle gestures of goodwill without the need for public acclaim. In today's self-promotion culture, this might seem strange, but the Stoics recognized the danger of turning kindness into a spectacle. Bragging about every good deed might lead us to seek applause, robbing us of a sacred moment of self-reflection. This secret self-analysis is a catalyst for personal growth. True kindness doesn't seek the spotlight, it manifests in quiet and authentic acts of compassion. The Stoic wisdom reminds us that the greatest acts of kindness are done without expecting anything in return. Number 2. Don't talk about your next steps. Imagine a chess master moving pieces silently, keeping their strategies hidden from their opponents. The Stoics understood the power of secrecy. By not revealing every move in their lives, they fortified their inner core of confidence, independent of external judgment. This leads to humility, a quality the Stoics valued. Revealing grandiose strategies could be seen as arrogance. By choosing discretion, they balanced ambition with humility. The Stoic tradition invites us to protect our goals, fortify our self-sufficiency, and walk with humility. Number 3. Practice not to judge. People, okay, afterwards, you might note that you didn't really resonate with anyone, but you didn't go in with the expectation of negativity. As such, practicing not to judge everything based on your first instinct and emotion is the very best way to start training your perception on life. Whenever you think about anything in an opinionated way, Try to ask yourself, is this rational? What have I based my opinion on? Is there a better or more positive way to interpret this? Marcus Elias stressed that harms can only be if you consider them as harms. This means that any hard experience you went through seems harder and worse the harder and worse you consider it to be. As such, you have complete control over how much certain situations affect you. The Stoics also encourage you to see every bad thing that happens as an opportunity or source for good. As an exercise of training your perspective in a Stoic way, there is a challenge called turning the obstacle upside down. When a new coworker is a slow learner and their mistakes affect the company's profits, you might feel frustration. This coworker is an obstacle to what you are trying to achieve, effectiveness, efficiency, in profit. However, this situation can also be an opportunity for good. It is an opportunity for you to exercise and practice patience, to become a better teacher, to learn how to integrate new people into the company, and how to handle stressful times. All of these are skills that will also be useful later and should also help you increase profits in the long run. On this subject, Marcus Aurelius famously said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. So all in all, instead of judging everything you come across in an exaggerated sense, take the time to look at things as they objectively are, 
and you might find that life is simpler and clearer than you thought. Every situation has a more positive interpretation and a more negative one. When you adjust your mindset accordingly, you will find that nothing bothers you as much as it used to, and you will get through life much more. Number 4. Reflect on the transient nature of life. One of the foundational pillars of Stoic philosophy is the profound understanding and acknowledgement of the impermanent nature of all things. Every morning before the world begins its cacophony, take a moment to immerse yourself in this truth. Find a quiet corner where you can sit undisturbed. Ensure your posture is relaxed yet upright, a physical reflection of the balance you aim to achieve between calm and alertness. Close your eyes and visualize the vast expanse of the universe, picture stars being born and dying, galaxies spinning in the dance of time. In this cosmic ballet, envision the Earth as a tiny dot. Within this, think of the rise and fall of civilizations, the mountains that have stood tall, and the rivers that have carved paths. Now, bring your focus closer and think of your own life, a mere blink in the grand scheme of things. This visualization isn't to diminish our significance but to understand the preciousness and brevity of our existence. Understanding life's transient nature serves as a poignant reminder. Firstly, it underscores the value of each day. When we truly grasp how fleeting our time is, we tend to prioritize what truly matters over trivial distractions and conflicts. Waking up with this mindset prepares you to navigate the day with a deeper sense of purpose. In essence, this morning ritual isn't about confronting mortality with fear but embracing the present with love, reverence, and action. As Seneca so wisely said, life is long if you know how to use it. And so, by grounding our mornings in this practice, we remind ourselves to live each day fully, meaningfully, and with grace. Number 5. Embrace Discomfort In our modern world, Comfort has become an expectation, a yardstick of progress. Yet the Stoics, with their profound wisdom, recognized that the unchallenged pursuit of comfort could be a hindrance to personal growth. They believed in the deliberate practice of introducing small discomforts as a means to fortify the spirit, cultivate resilience, and ensure one's preparedness for the inevitable adversities of life. A Stoic philosopher, Seneca, once advised, set aside a certain number of days during which you shall be content with the scantiest and cheapest fare, with coarse and rough dress, saying to yourself the while, if it's the condition that I feared. The essence behind this was not to promote needless suffering but to break the chains of dependency on external comforts and to remind ourselves of our innate strength. As you start your day, Think of small ways to introduce voluntary discomfort. Maybe it's taking a cold shower to jolt you awake and invigorate your senses. This act not only promotes physical alertness but serves as a metaphorical baptism, washing away the inertia and reminding you of your capacity to endure and thrive. Or perhaps it's choosing to skip that first cup of coffee, reminding yourself that your will and drive come from within not from external stimulants. You could also consider more reflective practices, like setting aside 10 minutes to meditate on a past hardship, recognizing the strength you displayed and the growth that emerged from it. Or choosing to walk or bike to work instead of driving, allowing yourself to be present in the environment and embracing the physical exertion as a testament to your body's capabilities. The purpose here is twofold. First, these daily acts of discomfort serve as training for the mind and spirit. Much like an athlete trains the body, by regularly stepping out of our comfort zones in small ways, we prepare ourselves for life's larger, unforeseen challenges. Secondly, they provide perspective. By occasionally foregoing certain comforts, we learn to appreciate them more when we have them and understand they aren't the cornerstones of our happiness or contentment. In embracing discomfort, 
You're not punishing yourself, you're empowering yourself. You're tapping into a deeper reservoir of strength, shedding unnecessary dependencies, and embracing a stoic sense of freedom that comes from realizing that true contentment is independent of external conditions.